In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how you can take an AI-created spokesperson and put them on the screen and give them a script to read so they can explain something that's going on at that point in your project. You use a tool called Talking Avatar. And so we're going to walk through that process together. I have on track one an image. It's a screenshot of Microsoft Excel and it deals with custom formatting. So what I want to do is create my artificial person and have them describe what's going on to explain what is in this particular step in this process of working with Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to use my talking avatar to do that. Let's see what happens when we get into it. So I'm in the media room and I'm going to click on talking avatar. This is a screen that pops up. Now we have several areas that we need to deal with. We have to import a photo, and we can use a sample, and we have to decide what we want for a background, and then we can import an audio, either an audio file or a text to audio. We're going to use a text in this case. So I can import a picture even of myself. Now if you're going to use one that's not in their sample library, you click on the eye icon here, and you're going to see what they recommend for the kind of image you would import. It has to be full face, front with the mouth closed. So it's going to make the mouth talk in an artificial way. And it gives you some kinds of photographs you don't want to use in the process. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to use a sample in this case. And so let's take this one. And if I click on the magnifying glass in the lower right corner of any of the sample pictures. Welcome to my channel. We get to see what it looks like and hear what it looks Welcome like. Welcome to my channel. That's what it would look like. So I'm going to click on the Use button. Now I can also change the background. This one has an orange background by default, but let's change that. I'm going to click on Background and I can either use Green Screen. And if you click that for the first time, it will load some extra code into your copy of PowerDirector. I'm going to click on Image. It's taking me to the options I have. These are the default images. But what if I don't want a preset? I'm going to click on the down arrow and use custom. That takes me to my file system. And here are some custom ones I've done already. I'll click on another one, this one. And let's use, oh, this one here. And click on open. So let's try this custom image here. I'll click on it and click on OK. And now it created that as the background. So now I have an image and I, now I have a background. I'm going to click, close that out for now. And so now I can use this as the background for my subject. The next thing I need is audio. I could import an audio file. I'm going to do text to audio. You notice you have a minimum of five seconds, a maximum of 10 minutes. Let's go text to audio. I can type it in. In this case, I'm going to import it. So I'll click on import. And here I have a simple TXT file. I'll click on that and click on open. Now here is the text I had in the file. It pulled it in very nicely. Then it tells me the number of credits it will use in order to generate. The credits are based on obviously the length of the text. So now this will cost me three credits. If I like what I see so far, let's go ahead and click on Generate. It will use the credits and go online to create my avatar. Let's see what happens when we click on Generate. It asks why we are using credits. I will be OK with that and click on the OK button. Now it's downloading some additional requirements it needs to make this work. It's uploading the photo. In this case, it's uploading their sample. And it's uploading the audio text. And it tells me it will use three credits. I'm OK with that. I'll click on the OK button. And then in the upper right corner, it says that they will process this and let me know when it's done. I'll click on Got It. I'll pause the video and we'll wait to see what happens. And now I see in the upper right hand corner something that says my talking avatar video is ready. View result.
and it will be available for me for 30 days. I'm going to click on it and click on download. I can put it wherever I want to. Once I've selected the folder, it will copy it and it will also put it into the program. It says it's available, added to the media library. Now I can edit with it. I'll click on OK. We'll close that window out for now. So here's my talking avatar. So what I want to do in this case is take this. It's a video and we're going to take it and put it on track number two. And let's change the size and shape. And I'm back to the first frame in my project. Let's watch and hear what happens when we play this. I would like to show you how to take an Excel spreadsheet and use the formatting options to add characters to a sequence to numbers. It is important to remember that these characters will show up in the cell, but will not actually change the number. They are used to alter the display and not the value of the cell. The key is to take the backslash symbol and insert it into the format of the number. The character that immediately follows the backslash will be inserted into the cell as a character, not a value. For example, to add the letter M as the third character in a sequence of five characters with leading zeros, you can use this custom format, 00 backslash 000. What I would do to add to this right now, I would go to the place where she is talking about the formula, and I would go to my overlays room, and I would add an overlay on the lower number track. And here I'll rotate it and we'll point to the formula that she's talking about. And work it out with the timing of her voice. Third character in a sequence of five characters with leading zeros. So I'll get the timing of that closer to what I want. Try it this way. Zero, zero, zero. That's one way to use this new talking avatar feature in Cyberlink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.